Hi, Mazelings. It is Thursday afternoon, and I'm very excited because today's my last day at the school that I was working at this past month, and I am ready to get tired. Uh, tomorrow's a half day, and I'm not sure if I have to work or not tomorrow because currently I don't have any job placement, and I know that we're currently in a the sub program. There are some weeks where you're able to work five days, then there are some weeks where you're only able to work four. And we're currently in a four day week, like the whole month of December is a four, four day work week. And I've already worked my four days, so technically I shouldn't have to work tomorrow. But typically Fridays are really high absence days, so they usually lift the, well, last Friday they lifted the four day um, restriction because they have so many people absent so I don't know I'm gonna try and hopefully not have to work tomorrow cuz I plan on just drinking a bunch of alcohol right now cuz I just I just feel like I just feel like I deserve it <laughs> I feel like I deserve it I survived with the children's for four weeks I deserve it but I'm uh, you know, feeling a little salty because I came home and no one's here. Y'all know how I am. Like, where's Chelsea? She should have been home. I understand, you know, mom and dad aren't here and Madison aren't here. Because they're usually not home when I get here. But it's Thursday. I don't know where Chelsea is. I'm thinking, because Madison had a little program today or whatever. Like a Christmas program at our elementary school. So I'm thinking maybe that's Chelsea went with, my, my mom came home and picked Chelsea up or something. And they went to that. But it's almost like 4 o'clock now. I don't know what's taking them so long to come home. The school is literally five minutes up the street. Not even five minutes. Like three minutes. It's right outside the neighborhood. So it's not like they drove super far. I'm going to be extra mad if they went somewhere afterwards. Like to eat or something without me. I'm a baby. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm spoiled. I don't like that. I'm a brat. <laughs> But for some reason, yesterday's vlog would, won't upload from my phone, so I don't know. If this one doesn't work either, then I probably will stop using this YouTube Capture app. Because that one week, it uploaded twice, and I was like, what the heck? It didn't even tell you to upload, and then the one I tried uploading yesterday didn't upload. So I'm going to try uploading it again today and see if it'll go up. But if it fails to work, then... Like I said, I'm going to stop using this app and just go back to my traditional way of vlogging with my digital camera. I was trying to wait for my mom to get home to work out, but she, she tripping. She playing games. I don't have time for this. I want to drink alcohol. I'm about to just say bump it and just get turned up by myself and probably just go to sleep because I'm tired. <laughs> Super exciting life I live, guys. So exciting. You have no idea. This is super random, but I got a new debit card today and I feel really sad about it because the debit card that I had has been my debit card ever since I opened up my bank account. It's expiring. Um, January expires, so they sent me a new one. I'm like, hmm, but it's the only debit card I ever had my whole life. So I got my, I think I got my bank account when I was like, my first year of college. So I feel really sad. Is that weird? That's weird, isn't it? I'm weird. I'm about to eat one of these little nasty um, Tostino's crispy tasty pizzas. Oh, it's, well, I mean, they're not nasty, but it ain't as good as real pizza, but it'll do. I love anything pizza flavored. But to eat one of these and drink me a drink. I forgot my drink in the fridge outside. We have two fridges, obviously. I need one's in the garage. It's our old refrigerator from back in the day. Back when I was a kid, dad recent, like a few years ago, dad updated like the house. He updated like all the appliances and the fridge was one of them. So he put the old one out in the garage and we use it for like overstock of stuff that doesn't fit in this fridge in here. Anyway, I'm just rambling right now. Like, I think I don't want to talk to, so I'm like, let me talk to my subbies because y'all my bays and y'all always listen to me. <laughs> you have no choice, right? I didn't show you what I'm drinking. These little raspberry things are delicious. Like, I don't like beer. And so one night at my friend's house, they were like, let's play, well, they are like, hey, Ariel, come over for beer pong. And I was like, okay, but I don't drink beer, so I'm gonna bring over a different drink. So I brought over some, like, I think I brought over some, like, Smirnoff or something. 
to play with instead because I don't drink beer. But then they were like, oh, Ariel, we bought you these little thingies. And I was like, I've never tried them before. And then I tried them. And I was like, oh, my God, this is delicious. So now that's my new jams. Those are definitely my new jams. 450 degrees. Let's go. So I talked to Jihan this morning before I went to work. And I asked him, you know, what, what is... Or was he getting ready to go to bed? Because, you know, when it's morning here, it's nighttime over there. And he was like, no. And I was like, oh, are you still working? And he was like, no, I'm studying. And I was like, oh, what for? And he's like, you know, he's studying for this to get some extra qualifications or whatever on his certificate. I, I don't know. And he was like, uh, I said, oh, well, don't study too hard. You know, you should go to bed. Don't stay up too late. And he's like, oh, I wish I could, but this is my... This is part of my life now. I want, I want to be a billionaire or something like that. And I was like, oh, a billionaire? Oh, you can do it. Just don't forget about me when you become rich. And then he said something like, I forgot exactly, but it was like, you should know this. I will never forget you whether I'm rich or not. And I was like, <laughs> She hasn't said anything sweet to me in forever. That was really sweet. I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> so, yeah. That's me. Never forget for. I never, never. Oh, shoot. I messed up. You know, did you fart? Ew! <laughs> you scared. Look at you looking all suspect. How are they? Hey guys, today is Monday and I haven't vlogged since I don't even know when, so I'm super failing at this vlogmas this year and I'm super sorry. But I mean, honestly, there's really nothing interesting ever going on for me to vlog, so it's like, I don't know, my life is just too boring for daily vlogging. But anyway, um, is it just me or is it considered rude, okay, in America? Is it rude to honk your horn at someone? Like if someone honks your horn, if someone honks their horn at you, do you feel offended? I don't know, this lady behind me just honked her horn at me because I was yielding, because the signs had to yield and I was, you know, making sure no cars were coming before I turned onto the street and trick honked at me and now I'm all upset about it. <laughs> it's making it made me really mad. And yeah, but I was thinking about in Korea, like they honk their horns like crazy in Korea, but it's not like, I don't think Korean people, like, think it's that rude, like, because whenever I was in Korea, people would honk whenever I, I'd be in the car with you, and I'd get all mad, but he didn't really care, but I'm like, Bleh. so I don't know if it's just me, or is it just an American thing, like, where it's, like, it's kind of rude to honk your horn, isn't it, That's, or, or am I weird, I don't know, anyway, I'm about to go to this post office, um, I'm just finishing work, I don't know if I said that or not, but I'm going to the post office to drop off. Um, a book for Chelsea that she has to send back to um, a little rental place she rented this textbook from. So I'm doing that for her because you all know Chelsea doesn't have a driver's license because she's afraid to drive so yeah <laughs> I'm doing that for her because I'm a nice big sister. Oh, I just want to follow that car all the way down the street and wait till she's at a red light and as soon as that mess turned green I want to honk at her to tell her to go stupid hoe back to pay me some up. Mm. But anyway um yeah Today is what? It's Monday and I feel it. <laughs> I made the mistake and stayed out all night Saturday night and so I decided today that I was gonna um, take the morning off. So I only worked a half day today because I knew that I'm still like trying to recover from Saturday. <laughs> I got no sleep Saturday night since Sunday when I came home <laughs> I didn't really sleep when I got home either I probably only slept maybe like two or three hours and then I went to bed last night you know so I was really tired today because of Saturday but yeah I reverted back to my like 19 year old self and I was like 19 20 I was never home ever <laughs> I was always out all the time on the weekends at least <sighs> Hi, man. Um, hang on. Let me shift gears. The struggle of trying to uh, vlog and drive manual. <laughs> Hold on, I'm about to pull in this parking lot. <laughs> Skirt. Zoop. Just, uh, I guess I'll park right here. Ooh. Okay, as I was saying. <laughs> 
I forgot. Oh, okay, there's this Korean cultural center in my um, city. It's like down the street from my house, like probably like 10 minutes down the road. I called them on my way, as because I was passing by on my way home and to ask if they had Korean lessons and they do offer them on Saturdays. So I'm gonna go there Saturday and see what that's about. See what kind of, uh, so I can brush up on my Korean for the next few months. For the next few months, cause y'all know what I was about to be is gone up out of here. Woohoo, turn up. I'm about to go into this post office, though. People probably think I'm weird. I always feel awkward vlogging in public. It's a very awkward thing. <laughs>